For four billion years, Earth has carried an invisible shield, a silent armor that never asked to be noticed. It wrapped around our world like a second atmosphere, blocking storms from the sun, shaping every life without ever touching it. And because it was invisible, we assumed it was eternal, a guardian we never questioned. But every shield has a breaking point, and we've never wondered what happens when this one fails. So imagine waking up one morning, stepping outside, and the world feels exactly the same, while the protection that made it possible has quietly disappeared. The first sign wouldn't be dramatic, not fire, not chaos, just sunlight that feels, sharper. UV levels creep upward, burning skin before warmth even reaches it, like heat with the sound turned off. Compasses begin to drift, hesitating, wobbling, like they're trying to recall where North once lived. Birds spiral off course, migrating in broken circles beneath a sky that no longer gives instructions. Satellites blink in and out of signal, tiny white sparks across orbit, as if the sky is developing static. And faint, ghost-like auroras shimmer at noon, a sky whispering a warning, and what it's trying to say, is only the beginning. Then comes the first real blow, a solar storm strong enough to touch the ground. With no magnetic field, the solar wind tears straight into the upper atmosphere, stripping oxygen and nitrogen away, molecule by molecule. The ozone fractures like cracked glass, UV pouring through in invisible sheets. Half an hour outside leaves skin flushed and stinging, as if sunlight has learned to burn deeper than it ever should. Power grids choke with electrical noise. Transformers hum, crackle, then burst, and entire cities exhale into sudden darkness. GPS collapses worldwide. Aircraft lose navigation. Shipping routes fade from every map. Phones flicker and fade. The internet unravels in pieces. And the sky, once blue, drains into a pale, electric white that feels wrong to look at. And slowly, it becomes clear, Earth is no longer protected, it is exposed. Every satellite we depend on drifts closer to failure, fried by relentless radiation. Air traffic halts. Stock markets freeze. Global trade grinds to silence, as if the world is unplugging itself one continent at a time. In the oceans, the first victims appear, microscopic plankton, DNA shredded by UV like delicate film left in the sun. The water darkens in some places, turns strangely clear in others, a sign that the base of life is dissolving. Without them, the marine food chain collapses downward, falling level by level like a tower losing its base. Weather patterns twist as the ionosphere destabilizes. Lightning falls from clear skies, bolts striking out of nothing. Cities ration power, then water, and then the number of hours people may spend under the open sky. Earth begins to resemble a younger, harsher planet, a world life once feared. Human life redraws itself. People abandon open streets for underground corridors, shielded shelters, and radiation domes. The UV reading Schools is shift safe, to night schedules, finally. where UV levels are know, lowest and children slides. can step outside without me. fear. Kids play beneath artificial again. skies, while their real Race sky waits outside like spot. something hungry. Some stare out the dome windows, watching sunlight they aren't allowed to touch. A new medical world rises around solar injuries, skin cancers, eye damage, genetic mutations, racing across generations. And sunlight, our oldest ally, feels predatory, like a gentle thing learning how to hurt. We rebuild our routines around shadows, moving from one pocket of darkness to another, as if daylight has become an ocean, and we're learning how to swim again. Cities glow brighter at night, not in celebration, but because night is the only time we feel human. And as humanity adapts, we finally understand something we never questioned. It wasn't the darkness that protected us, but a fragile veil of magnetism, a shield we never saw, never thanked, and never imagined losing. Because the sun didn't change. We did, the moment our final line of defense disappeared into silence. And in that silence, we finally learn what it means to live on a world that must protect itself, without its oldest guardian.